Well, Jonas, uh, thanks for joining us today as you get ready for this new series coming out on Netflix. Actually, tomorrow, correct? It's right, right, exactly. Yeah. World, worldwide, in like yeah. 190 countries or something crazy. Wow. So here, you know, we're, I represent Twitty and Company. We're a vacation rental home management company here on the Outer Banks of North Carolina. And the Outer Banks has such good name recognition. I think for, for people like me, I mean, I'm from the Outer Banks and you don't even think about how recognizable the name is until yeah. you get away and you're up in upstate New York and people are like, oh, I know where that is. And so yeah. I'm curious, what's the premise of the show and, and what's it about? Well, uh, it's basically about four high school friends that go on this adventure together. And um, I had grown up on the coast of the Carolinas, not in the Outer Banks, but uh, around Wilmington, kind of in between Wilmington and Charleston. And so um, my brother and I and our other partner, Shannon, just had this idea for this kind of adventure story that a bunch of kids go on. And um, we pitched it to Netflix and we shot a little trailer uh, for them and, and showed it to them and they thought, wow, what a beautiful part of the world. So they greenlit the show. That's awesome. So yeah. is that the same trailer or footage that we see today? No, that we, we shot one that was just like a kind of homemade one that we did oh, in order okay. to sell it. So the, the trailer that came out is the actual trailer for the show. But um, yeah, we shot one that was really all shot in North Carolina. And then of course, you know, we love the Outer Banks and um, we wanted to shoot there. I mean, I think I think people should know it's not based on any specific town in the Outer Banks. We we call it a mythical county called Kildare County. There's a town called Pelican. So the whole thing has a fictionalized quality to it. Um, but we, you know, it's obviously all inspired by the Outer Banks, and we certainly wanted to shoot there. Um, but unfortunately, there were some political reasons that we couldn't. But um, that's basically what happened. Yeah. Um, so what I mean. Obviously, you being from coastal North Carolina, there's a certain association, but why Why the name the Outer Banks? Is it part of that recognition or? Well, yeah, I mean, we just thought like, I mean, uh, obviously it's a specific place, but it also, and this might be a little literary, it also functions as kind of a metaphor for what happens to these kids, that they go to the sort of outer limits of their experience in order to go through this adventure. So it sort of works in a couple of different ways. It refers to a, a geographic place, but also a kind of literary illusion. Yeah. Well, I don't, I mean, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us? Uh, here? No, I mean, I just think like, you know, we, unfortunately we couldn't shoot in the actual Outer Banks, but, um, you know, we love it and it certainly inspired so many things that were going on in our heads. And, you know, we had actually had to shoot down in Charleston, which doesn't look exactly like the real Outer Banks, but I think sort of spiritually and having a love of the coast, you'll see that come through in the series big time. Well, actually, I would I would like to share with you because on the opening, uh, on your opening trailer, there is a picture or there's a video of that Morris Island lighthouse that That's at right. one time sat right on the beach or or inland just a little bit until they stabilized the Charleston Harbor. Yeah, and that caused it to be out. But that lighthouse is actually, uh, in some ways, a sister lighthouse to the Currituck Beach Lighthouse, which is located yeah. right behind me in Kerala. Yeah. Uh, so it's a lot of folks don't realize that, but it's uh, I see that lighthouse and I know a little bit of the history of it. And it's always very interesting to me because originally the, the keeper's house was almost identical to the one we have here. So it's kind of a fascinating. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. No, for sure. And we uh, that, that that lighthouse occurs in the story. And then, you know, it was all sort of inspired by the lighthouse from the Outer Banks. And um, that's the closest we could come up with down in Charleston, basically. <laughs> uh, I hear you. Well, we wish you great success in the series. We're looking forward to checking it out. And uh, we know a lot of people that have just a deep connection with the name Outer Banks. And uh, I know they'll be interested to check it out. Yeah, well, thanks so much for your time. I appreciate it.